Hello and welcome back to Deus Machina Demon Bane. Oh shit, he's too fucking fast. My back's on fire, the blood's making a puddle at my feet. Kuru! <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing. This is the real problem. I lift the shattered scimitar, but Alda shies and shakes her head. It's no use, it will take time to remake it. Oh. Well, there's no point staying attached to it. I toss the scimitar away like old socks and prepare for the next attack. Did you forget the scimitar is not just a sword, but a magical aid? <sighs> Learn to treat your tools better, fool. If you still intend to fight? Just put simply, we're at a serious disadvantage. Of course I'm going to fight. I can't just let them run wild and glance around the area. I see dice, pulped bodies everywhere. My chest is burning. I feel sick to my stomach. The blood pumping from my heart is boiling. The neurons from my firing from my brain are on fire. I won't forgive them. I won't forgive these pieces of shit. Keep barking, loser. Shit. I rush Claudius, avoiding the slashing wind by staying as low to the ground as I can. And as soon as he's in range, I throw a magically charged body blow. Shit. Just as before reaching Claudius, my fist is suddenly slashed by countless invisible blades. Blood flies from my hand as I yank it back hastily. Claudius is surrounded by some sort of barrier of wind. You little shit. I shift my wings to a spear and thrust it at Claudius. His barrier grows more intense. The whirlwind of the blades consumes the spear like a shred or even paper. It's only chopped pages flying everywhere. Eh, <laughs> you fucking stupid or something. No, but you are. The scraps of minced pages are swept up by Claudius' wind. A thick storm of paper, paper, paper and more paper. It covers the entire barrier in the blink of an eye. Ah! Blinded by the storm of paper, Claudius flinches. The whirling of his shield only slows a tiny bit, but it's an opening. Sha! I thrust my hand at Claudius like a knife. The wind slashes at my arm, but it's too weak. I can push through. My hand pierces the barrier and goes straight to Claudius' face. Right. Hey! What the? A surprise lasts only an instant. The explosion envelops both me and Claudius. The fire burns our flesh. The shockwave beats us mercilessly. Ah! <sighs> I wrap my rings around us to fend off the flames, and using the momentum of the blast, I crawl to my feet. Every part of me hurts like hell. I force the pain out of my mind. The fuck just happened? <sighs> it was Caligula. An asshole attacked me, even though his ally was in the way. I watched as Claudius lands and ceremonies to the hill unceremoniously on his face, several metres away. Ow! <laughs> hey, dumbass, you fucking blew me up too! It serves you right. This is what happens when you keep on getting careless. They're fighting with each other again. So now I know common sense won't work on them. They're totally fucking nuts. Ugh. Kuru. I fall to my knees, unable to bear the pain. Something hot rises in my throat and I spit it out. A black shred glob of blood splatters against the pavement. Oh fuck, I'm feeling that one. <laughs> Even though Caligula caught both of us in the blast, I guess it wasn't totally indiscriminate. My damage is clearly worse than Claudius's. I think I can manage. I'll chance a spell and my body is suffused with a gentle light. I feel heat flung from my core. Intense pain is slowly fading back from my body, and the wounds on my arm and back are healing. Slightly. It should be a little better, but it won't hold for long. Take care. <sighs> I'll do my best, but I glare at the Antichrist. Caligula is preparing for another attack, and Claudius is standing up next to him. I knew I couldn't stand much chance against two Antichrists. Is there any hope of victory? Don't hold back. We'll finish this in one blow. Don't tell me what to do, you fat buck. Caligula crosses his fist tightly over his head. I feel him gathering raw magic, refining it to serve one simple purpose. Absolute destruction. Majus Wing! The instant I sense the danger, I shoot to the air like a rocket, and I hear a thunderous boom beneath me. That was close. The ground where I was standing looks like it's been smashed with a giant hammer. There's nothing left but a huge smoking hole torn out of the earth and the surrounding buildings are listing dangerously towards the gaping maw. Shit, his power is ridiculous! 
Even in the air, there's no safety. I feel some pressure approaching at an insane speed. Something's shooting towards me like a bolt of black lightning. Claudius. You're not the only one who can fly. It's flying, or perhaps it would be better to call it running through the sky. With the wind as his footing, Claudius reaches us in the blink of an eye. Hiya! Hastur! Still running on the wind, Claudius fiercely swings his crossed arms. Blades of wind streak towards us like an invisible cross of death. The power makes its previous attacks pale in comparison. Ah! The wind slices a cross pattern into my chest. After a brief pause, blood sprays into the air. My life is raining out of the city. Ah! Kuru! I lose consciousness for an instant. The moment my concentration lapses, my magus wings dissolve into pages. I smash into the water tank on the roof of the listing building. The water pours from the shattered tank red with my blood. Not good. This wind is deep. Oh damn, that's cold. Oh shit. <laughs> Even though blood is still flowing from my chest, I force myself to my feet. My knees are like jelly, I can barely stand. My mind is fading. I could pass out at any moment. But no, I can't. I won't be defeated here. What? That didn't kill him? Grumbling to himself, Claudius lands on the roof. Caligula joins it by hopping up the wall of the building. But he can barely move. We'll finish him now. Caligula clenches his fists. Oh, I'm fucked. I regenerate my major wings and set them up as shields, but there's no way they'll be able to block those attacks. Is there anything I can do? Die. Bye bye. See you in hell. Oh, fuck. Kuru! happens in the blink of an eye. I'm surrounded by a storm of grimoire pages, and the pages easily deflect both Caligula's wave of destruction and Claudius's blast of wind. What the... What? What the fuck? What? Grimoire pages whirl before my eyes, a tornado of paper gradually beginning to take on density. The pages are combining, joining together to form a certain shape. Is this going to be a near by any chance? They take the shape of a person. A book in human form, just a little taller than Al. Excuse me for one moment. Sorry about that interruption, thought I heard someone at the door. Its entire body is encased in paper, reminding me of a mummy. And a wave of energy surges from it. Ah. <gasps> My wings protect me from the impact, and the Antichrist fall back before the blast of power coming from the mummy. Our four pairs of eyes are all focused intently on it. Papers open, like the petals of a flower, and there in the center, where before there was a human shaped mass of paper, there now stands an actual person, a girl. I stare at her like my soul has been plucked out. She looks like a prisoner. Once again, I'll have to censor that, but oh well. Her mask covers her eyes, the air fills her mouth, leather restraints cover her body, iron shackles fetter her limbs. And her slender body is mercilessly bound. However, <laughs> what? The Antichrist step back in fear. I can feel the pressure surging from the bound girl. Its terrible force threatens to crush my heart. How can such a small girl have so much power? What? Why the fuck are you? Claudius and Caligula have been completely thrown into confusion. Two members of the Antichrist, leaders of Black Lodge, afraid of her. Just who is this girl? When Claudius cries out, Tyrant! Tyrant? Does he mean this girl? She says nothing, not that she could do with that gag in her mouth. She raises her chained arm slowly. Not so fast! Caligula swings his fist, summoning a wave of destruction, and Claudius follows with a storm of slashing wind. The deadly energy approaches the girl, I see her gag in her mouth twist with a fearless smile. The attacks tear to pieces. She bursts into a shower of blood like a flower scattering crimson petals. Before the blood can fall on me, it disintegrates, and the remains of her body, every drop of blood, it all turns back into the pages of the grimoire. But the strangeness doesn't end there. Huh? Ah! Kuru, what's wrong? I suddenly grab my hands and fall to my knees, staring at Al. The back of my right hand feels like it's just been hit with a brand. 
and my left hand feels like it's been thrust into a tank of liquid nitrogen. This is... Kuru, the seals! The arcane symbols of fire and wind that were carved into me by Cthulhu and Ifakwa are now glowing brightly. The brand of Cthulhu burns crimson, the colour of blood. The mark of Ifakwa shines cold, pure and sharp. The wind of power surrounds me, the dancing pages drawn to the glowing symbols. They begin to whirl around my hands like miniature, many-layered tornadoes. They whirl faster and faster, and able to stand the force of their spinning. The pages are beginning to disintegrate, and the paper falls apart, leaving the arcane script behind. Tens of thousands of lines of symbols combine into brilliant with glowing spirals. The shine of the citrus on my hand and the world of spiraling symbols. The light combines, and with a blinding radiance, it consumes the world. In the midst of the light I see, I see two shapes floating beside me, pulsing with intense power. It's too bright to make out what they are, but following an almost primal urge, I reach for them. My fingers touch them, and at that instant, information floods to my brain at the speed of light. And at that instant, I move faster than the speed of thought. I seize their grips firmly, taking comfort in the heavy weight of my hands, and their immense power flows through my body, charging me like an electric current place my fingers on the triggers. I can't see anything through the light burning from my eyes, but I can feel the presences. Christ, it looks terrifying there. I thrust my right hand towards Cthulhu's presence, and thrust my left towards Claudia's presence. I have them in my sights, and without pausing, I pull the triggers. The two reports come at the same time, sounding like a single shot. My arms tremble from the recoil. <laughs> Cthulhu's scream pierces my ears. My vision slowly returns. Caligula's foaming at the mouth and writhing in agony, spraying blood and spit everywhere. The merciless form of destruction has torn his arm off the shoulder, having pierced his magical barrier and armor-like muscles with ease. What? Claudius is still uninjured, unfortunately, as the thing has stopped right before it would have pierced his brow. The thing is a bullet, and although it's been arrested by his windshield, it's still spinning madly, trying to pierce through and taste his flesh. The tip of the bullet barely touches Claudius' forehead. A drop of blood rolls down his fear-frozen face. What the... What the hell kind of bullet is this? And a little shot too. What... Just what are those guns? I raise my hands, staring at the two guns in utter astonishment. In my right hand is a cruel automatic, designated in tones of black and red. On my left, an elegant revolver, cast from pure silver. Magic arms, and extremely powerful ones at that. That girl turned into these guns when she dissolved? What the, what the fuck do you have to do with the tyrant's guns? My arm! My arm! Hey, Caligula! Well, you shout to Caligula, who's insane with pain. Consumed by rage, he swings his remaining fist wildly. And the waves of force blast round with chunks out of the roof. Ah, cut it out, you muscle head! Uh, die! 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 Oh, he's lost it. Claudius curses, desperately avoiding the random explosions. Kuro! Ah. An explosion lands on us. Forcing my pain right body to move, I move away from the blast. And while still in the air, I bring the revolver to bear on Caligula and give him the rest of the cylinder. The muzzle flashes five times. As soon as I fire, my mind kicks into overdrive. All of my senses run faster than the speed of sound, and I see them. A cluster of five bullets streaks towards Caligula in a straight line, but then something happens. Each of the bullets changes direction. Some turn at right angles, others make smooth curves, still others dance through spirals. They aim for Caligula's forehead, heart, throat, eye, and temple. As though its bullet has its own will, they're steel wolves, seeking the vital spots of their prey. Guided bullets? Arrgh! Caligula's barrier field increases in strength. Three of the bullets shatter against its might. The one of the two that, is pen that penetrate is deflected off Caligula's hardened skin. The remaining bullet goes straight into his right eye. Well, that to me seems like an excellent point to end this part, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next.